Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a new fluid solver that is quite fast and easy to set up with the geometry nodes. Uh, this is the node tree for this solver. Uh, you can use this solver for any kind of uh, fluid effects and it is really useful for uh, water trails or water waves effect. And this solver is also available in my uh, fluid presets, more about them in the end of this video. So let's get started. So this solver is based on this article, me and my neighborhood on Shaded Twined a website by this author. And he has also provided this PDF as well as this code to understand the concept of this uh, fluid solver. So basically it has uh, these four rules uh, to follow uh, to make this fluid solver. We have this uh, grid and let's this grid point has these three quantities order energy, disorder energy and mass uh, but we are going to use these terms a velocity, pressure and color so the first rule is P will diffuse with the neighbor points or this point will get the average pressure from the neighbor points and the second rule is the difference in the pressure of the neighbor points will be added as a velocity or in this term you can say the order in the disorder is added as a order and the third rule is the difference in the velocity of the neighbor points will be added to the pressure or we can say the disorder in the order is added as disorder to the pressure and in the end we are going to advect the velocity or the color by looking backward in the velocity direction so for this I have set up this basic notary we have this grid let me make this a 5 for the moment. For this tutorial, we are going to use this square grid. However, you can extend this to any type of grid by following my previous uh, tutorial about fluid simulation. So we have this grid and we have divided this 1 meter by uh, 5 vertices or 4 segments. That's why I have subtracted 1 to get these 4 segments. And if we divide this length, which is 1 meter by this number of steps, we will get the grid step or the length from this vertex to this vertex okay uh, this grid step is required to calculate the indices of the neighbor points so how to get the indices of the neighbor points it's like uh, add the sample nearest node then add the add vector node and here we're going to add the position of the current point and we're going to offset this position based on this grid step like in this case i'm upsetting the this position along the right side then we're going to sample the index basically we're going to move this position to this position and then sample the index of this point so in this group node i'm basically calculating the indices of the neighbor points by following that uh, method so here is the sample node i'm upsetting the position along the right side then along the left side and similarly along the upside and the downside so we have all the indices of the neighbor points for all the points of this grid or you can also see that in the spreadsheet so we have right left up and down uh, neighbor indices next i have initialized the velocity pressure and color that three quantities we are required and for the color i am using this checker texture this is the basic uh, material which is uh, just the color attribute of the uh, this grid so now let's increase the resolution of this grid let me delete this one here we're going to add the simulation zone the first rule is to calculate the average pressure from the neighbor points so for that we're going to use the sample index node and here we're going to add the named attribute node so let's uh, we want to calculate the pressure of the right uh, neighbor points and this is the pressure so now we have the pressure of the right neighbor point 
similarly we have to do that for the left up and down for the pressure as well as for the velocity so to make thing fast i have created this group node uh, this one so i am sampling the pressure and velocity in this group node using this index okay we have write uh, pressure and velocity then we can add this node for other index as well so here we going to type the left then uh, up and down so now we have the pressure for all four neighbor points and velocity so let's first calculate the average pressure which is the first rule then we have to divide this by four because we have this four neighbor points rule number one next is we have to calculate the velocity from the pressure difference so for that we have to subtract the pressure uh, right pressure from the left pressure and similarly uh, up pressure from the down pressure or pressure from the down neighbor points uh, this is because left right side so this is the x x axis velocity this is up and down side difference so that this will be the y axis velocity after that we have to divide this by 4 this is the velocity from the pressure difference and this is uh, the rule number 2 now we have to calculate the pressure from the velocity difference which is rule number 3 so for that first we have to separate the velocity components and next we are going to subtract right velocity from the left velocity of the neighbor points and similarly up from the down velocity so let me hide other outputs we have this then we have to add them together to get the total pressure next we have to divide this by 4 so this is uh, the rule number third sorry three next we're going to add these pressures together to get the total pressure and we're going to store this to this grid so now we have updated the pressure next we have to advect the velocity in that we're going to use this velocity okay so for the advection let me go to this side so suppose we are at this point and this point has velocity in this direction so we have to move backward in the velocity direction to get the velocity or to sample the velocity so for that we're going to use the sample or uh, nearest surface node and because we want to sample the velocity so change this to vector add the named attribute node type here velocity and then add the subtract node uh, because we are moving in the backward direction of the velocity and here we have to add the scale node because velocity is a position gradient so to get the position from the velocity we have to multiply it by the time step so here type the velocity which is multiplied by a time step then is subtracted from the current position or moving in the backward direction and then we are sampling the velocity and here we are going to add the value node to define the time step this is time step and we are going to use 0.1 so now let's add a store node here gx and here we are going to add the velocity that we have calculated by following rule number 2 now plug this into this now we have advected the velocity so similarly we can advect the color so let's duplicate this setup here change this to uh, color we don't need this one color and also color plug this to this and this one to this connect this mesh to this and this to the geometry and here we going to update the color color and we can use the same time step here we are updating the velocity and here we are updating the color so this is our rule number fourth okay so this is the complete setup now let's see in work let me change this to uh, material preview and if i add a point one to the initial velocity see our fluid is moving okay fine 
Now to make this fluid interactive with the, the external mesh, we have to update the velocity of the grid based on this uh, animated sphere. So let's move them to the side. And here we're going to update the velocity. So let's duplicate this node here. To get the velocity from this sphere, I have created a group node, which is uh, very simple. Let me go inside this node. So just focus on this part. Uh, this is basically to get the geometry from different object types, curve or a mesh. Here I have initialized the velocity and then I'm calculating the velocity by subtracting previous position from the current position and then dividing it by the this time step to get the velocity. After that, I'm updating the uh, position of this geometry. Now we have the velocity. So we have to sample that velocity for the grid. So here I'm using sample nodes to sample the velocity to the grid points. So let's connect this to this one. Now it is updating the velocity of whole grid. We want to update the velocity of the points which are near to this sphere. So for that, we're going to use the fall of node. Uh, these file of notes are freely available on my Gumroad page. The link is in the video description. So let's add the greater than node. So let me show you what it is doing. Okay, first select this uh, sphere. See, now let's type here 0.25 and then connect to this. So we have this selection. We're going to use this selection. See it's working. Similarly, we can also update the color. Just duplicate this one. Change this to color. Type here color attribute. And connect this as selection. So here we're going to update the color as blue color. Okay. See, we are adding the blue color as well as this object is adding the velocity to the fluid let's make this in the negative direction and this is the complete setup now suppose you want to use this uh, fluid simulator for the water waves so for that you have to add the set position node and here then add the scale vector scale node and here we're going to use the vector length node and then we're going to add the named attribute that will be the velocity so let me show you first the velocity so this is how velocity looks uh, for this uh, fluid and we're going to use this velocity to add the ripples to this grid maybe higher so that you can see uh, let me increase the resolution of this grid so this is the complete uh, setup uh, this is it about the tutorial now i will show you my presets that have this uh, fluid solver so this is uh, the fluid simulator for grid curve it can simulate the fluid on any grid or a curve based grid now it has new option that is the fluid solver you can use the fast or exact fast is the new solver and it has new options like color conservations now these solvers preserve the colors uh, during the simulation in the dynamic setting, I have added the factor for the velocity and the force. Now you can easily manipulate the velocity with the factor instead of this uh, selection. Selection is by default is true for all the grid. However, you can easily define your selection uh, for the influence. This particular vector has new collision options. Now they can collide with the external object, which is in this case cube, or they can collide with each other. Uh, this collision can be attractive or repulsive okay based on this uh, strength sign and this update is also available for the fluid simulator for mesh so here you can choose the solver fast or exact and it has also color conservations this factor for the velocity and the force and this particular vector also has uh, collision options for the geometry as well as for the particle particle collision i have also updated these forces and fixes some of the 
minor bugs of the solvers so please check out the updated version uh, so this is it about this tutorial and my presets if you have any doubt or query you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me on my discord servers so if you like this work then please do support me you can buy my presets or you can support me through my patreon page so until next time happy nodding bye